Hey friends, today I'm going to be going over the Benro Aero 2 Travel Tripod Kit. This tripod is part of a larger collection of tripods under the Aero name. There's also the Aero 4, the Aero 7 Aluminum, and the Aero 7 Carbon Fiber. This tripod is the lightest and smallest of the bunch. Weighing in at only 4.1 pounds, this tripod puts an emphasis on portability. At the time of the making of this video, the Aero 2 sells for about $224 on Benro's site, while Amazon has it at about $159. I think it's a really affordable tripod when comparing it to other tripods on the market. Its closest competitor, in my personal opinion, is probably the version 2 Manfrotto B-Free aluminum travel tripod for about $222. There's also Benro's own Slim Video Travel Tripod, which is about $126. But the Slim Tripod doesn't have a leveling head. And it's the reason why I think this tripod is a much better value than the Slim. Here's what's in the box. It comes with a carrying case, a removable flat base fluid video head with the tripod legs, and a set of instructions with an Allen wrench. Okay, let's start with functionality. This tripod is made of aluminum and uses three reverse folding legs to keep it compact and easy to carry. When the legs are folded up, it's only 18.3 inches in length. Each leg has three locking positions and four leg sections. The legs have flip locks as opposed to twist locks. In my opinion, flip locks are faster and work better in sandy or muddy environments. I found that sand can get stuck in the grooves of twist locks and doesn't come out. At the bottom of the tripod are three rubber feet that can be removed to reveal steel spikes. When the center column and the legs are fully extended, this tripod is just under 62 and a half inches tall. I'm 5'4", so this tripod is plenty tall for me. The minimum height is about 18 and a half inches if the center column is not inverted, but you can also turn the center column upside down if you wanted to. The tripod also has a removable hook at the bottom to add additional weight for stability, or you can just use it to hold your stuff. The leveling head is super smooth and makes it a ton easier to adjust your shots. A lot of tripods don't have this, if you don't have it, you'll have to adjust each tripod leg individually. It's a great time saver, and one of the primary reasons why I got this tripod. The pan knob is only locked or unlocked and doesn't have different levels of resistance, but overall it's really smooth and at this price point, I don't have any issues with it. The tilt function works much the same way as the pan knob. There's only locked or unlocked without the different levels of resistance that a more expensive tripod would have. On the right side of the tripod is a really nice pan bar handle that you can adjust in any direction you want or you can remove it altogether. The handle itself has a nice rubbery grip but it doesn't have any features that could make it longer or shorter in case you felt like it was in the way. The quick release plate has a standard quarter 20 thread mount. You can use a flathead or the Allen wrench that was provided with the tripod. One of the great features of this tripod is the safety stop, which prevents your camera from sliding off the tripod in case you forget to tighten the knob on the quick release plate. I don't quite know why they call these quick release plates because they're not that quick. But that's a different story I guess. To release the plate, all you have to do is press the blue button and slide out the plate. This is where you're going to run into a problem. I found it impossible to get a camera onto the tripod without any kind of additional plate. The camera prevents the knob from being locked down, and it's primarily due to the shape of the knob, but also because there's no distance between the knob and the top of the camera. So I bought a separate quick release plate from Amazon. I attached it so that it doesn't block the battery door on my camera. In general, using a separate quick release plate 
will make your life easier, but this additional purchase shouldn't be necessary for this product to work. Once I had the additional plate on there, it lifted the camera up and away from the knob so you can lock it down. There's a link in the description for the additional plate if you're interested. This is an example of a tripod that has a more effective knob. It's sometimes harder to turn because of the shape, but also doesn't get blocked by the camera when you're trying to tighten down the plate. One of the surprise features of this tripod is the monopod feature. It's almost like getting two products for the price of one. This is where the Benro really outshines its competition. The Manfrotto Be Free does not have a monopod capability. All you have to do is unscrew the tripod leg with the rubbery grip from the base of the tripod. Then connect that leg to the center column and attach your camera. In this position, the monopod becomes an awesome makeshift jib for getting crane shots. This dual functionality alone puts this tripod way ahead of the Manfrotto Be Free and it comes at a more affordable price. Let's talk a little bit about quality, performance, and design. In terms of quality, this tripod feels really solid. It's specced out to hold a maximum of 5.5 pounds, but I feel like it'll still be okay if I went over the weight limit a bit. The knobs and flip locks are plastic, but they feel durable, and I've been using this tripod for a while, and I haven't had any issues with them. The legs feel smooth and really sturdy. The pan and tilt function both have comfortable levels of resistance. Overall, I feel like I could throw this tripod around and it would hold up really well. The leveling head on this tripod is also one of the most time-saving features. If you find yourself on uneven terrain, you can skip adjusting the legs of your tripod and instead just adjust the leveling head until your shot is level. It has a bubble level as a guide to balance your shot. Okay, I hope this review was helpful. That's all for now. Be well, my friends, and I'll talk to you later.